Hello, everyone. In Santa Rosa Junior High, all you students, I'm looking forward to working with you uh, for this fall semester. I do understand that this semester isn't your traditional 17 week. Uh, it's a shortened course, 14 weeks, which means then that, hey, you get to finish early or there's more work. But the concept uh, of uh, what we're going to study, syllabus, et cetera, is going to be the same as a 17 week course. So we're going to review uh, some on Canvas, something on Canvas to make sure that you have a great understanding or a good understanding of expectations that we have for this semester. So remember, I am here to support you. I'm here to make sure that you succeed. And just before we get into the syllabus, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is John O'Laughlin. Uh, I live in San Diego, California. And my hobbies are uh, surfing, scuba, uh, walks. So if you like to surf, you just let me know. And you can also let me know what your hobbies and your favorite, favorite spots are. So I think that was enough of an intro there for myself. And also I am deaf. So I'm going to do my best to work with you and to make sure that we have a successful time. Now, just to let you know that in the course, it's going to be immersive, an immersive experience, which means that you're going to see a lot of my uh, lectures on video, but you also will have an English transcript, which will then help you understand what I'm saying in the video, in the lecture. So we'll have the same, the translation of what I'm going to be um, giving on the lecture. So we'll come to that a bit later, but good for now, yeah. My apologies for just a minute here. I just lost what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. Great. So today's the September nine. This is your class orientation. And you're going to learn the expectations for the semester. And I am looking forward to meeting all of you soon. Oh, I'm going to make fun. I'm going to call this the silly bus instead of the silly bus. It's just a joke here that I've just made uh, for the silly bus. But I call it the silly bus. And I signed silly bus. And I learned that in Gallaudet University. And I remember when I took an English course or class there that the professor, a deaf professor said, all right, we're going to review the silly bus. And all of us students were like, huh? What's he talking about? Or what are they talking about? And then we realized that it was a joke. So to sign syllabus, we actually have to fingerspell it using English letters. But if you want to, you know, make fun of some or tease with someone, you can just say something like the silly bus. And, you know, maybe only certain people were going to understand that. But anyways, here we go. So for the silly bus, the silly bus, we're going to hop on this very silly bus and have a nice little tour together. So I'm going to just go through the notes here, the syllabus to make sure that we all have an understanding of what's expected. And I won't cover absolutely everything, but the important parts. Obviously, it's our first day today, September 9, and we will complete this on the 13th of December. 
this is my Zoom office hours, uh, Mondays, two to four in the afternoon. So if you need any help with anything, just let me know. So here are the SLO or the student learning outcomes. And these are the expectations for you to uh, uh, achieve all four of these outcomes listed here. So to initiate and respond to simple and brief conversations in ASL using some of these points here, to use and understand basic vocabulary, thirdly, to be able to understand basic grammatical structures or use simple grammar structures. And also uh, we're going to have a discussion of deaf history and deaf culture. So those are the four basic outcomes that we're going to focus on. That's your required textbook, which you must have. You must subscribe for it now. It will be units one through to five from TWA, and that is True Way ASL Student E-Workbook. So for, for any reason, if you take an ASL 2 course with me in the next, next spring, it will then be units six through to 10. For now though, for this semester, we only need units one through five. So this course gives me one minute here. There we go. So this course uh, isn't going to be like your typical asynchronous course, you know, where you have to do some work with the, you know, instructor and the student separately, or this one is going to be designed that you'll be working with me, plus you're going to be working with another student because you have to work with another student to give you the opportunity to grow and develop in your ASL linguistic skills, focus on making improvements in language, knowledge, the knowledge of the language, how to express yourself in American Sign Language, as well as how to read or uh, comprehend what you see in ASL. So you're going to get a lot of feedback from me, but you can have lots of opportunities to work uh, with your classmates as well. So it's very important for you, though, to work with them because that's the best way for all of you to learn and develop in learning language. We're doing this because for the last few years, we've been doing some experimentation and we've realized that if a student's working with another student, in ASL studies, that is, that their language skills dramatically improve. So we have a high expectation for that here as well. And not only that, but it's also because, you know, you know, if we live, say, in the Bay Area, uh, that's where a lot of deaf people live as well. And that's where a lot of deaf people work. They go to the California School for the Deaf in Fremont. It's quite a large school there. So I just want to make sure that all of you are prepared for those encounters. I'm here to support you. Are you ready? We'll go forward. So here we are under some class rules. Please not let's not use our voice during class for these videos. Uh, I'm a deaf person, right? So I want you to be in an environment where you are exposed to sign language, okay? So if you're in the office, say, if you know that the office, my office hours on Monday, you know, we can have either chat as a way to communicate through text, or we can communicate in American Sign Language. So in our Zoom class, we have to really, you know, emphasize here that attendance is vital, but on the weekends, I don't 
I don't do any check on the weekends. So please, you know, contact, you know, me through Monday and Friday, between Monday and Friday, you know, Saturday and Sunday, I'm surfing or whatever. So, you know, I'm not going to bring my laptop to the beach, right? And I'm sure all of you need a life, uh, life and work balance as well. So that's why all of your homework is going to be due on Tuesdays. Everything on Tuesdays. We won't have anything due on Sundays. All right. Different things that we're going to cover here, like a type of uh, activities. Quizzes, work studies, worksheets, my apologies, quizzes. This one here, this is becoming interesting. Uh, Self-observation assessment review. And then there's an opportunity where you can actually watch like a deaf signer and see how that person uses, uh, say, English and then translates that into sign language. And that's a really important uh, opportunity for you to observe. For example, the facial expressions that person makes, uh, the choice of word order that they will use in ASL. And when you observe that and you learn, you're going to know by then, you're going to know by then these things by the end of each unit. And then, you are going to implement these things in a video that you'll make and then you'll upload that and then i'm going to check for vocab grammar facial grammar as well as uh, you'll have to complete a rubric to compare your work with that deaf signer so we'll show you that soon next item here story comprehension and unit comprehension test and unit production. It's an expressive test and a unit project. So I will explain a bit more about the project here. So that's going to replace midterm and final exam. And why am I doing this? We've done some research and with language courses and linguistic courses, these need to be natural or a natural spiral progressive development in terms of acquiring language. So, I mean, if I'm teaching deaf culture in class, for example, we might have a specific language or a lecture about something. And typically you'd have a midterm and a final because at this in this case, that would be a knowledge-based type of examination. But here, we're talking about acquiring a language, and we're going to follow what's called a spiral approach of making a progress. So these unit projects basically are going to be like your mid and final, midterm and finals, and you're going to have five of them, actually. So it's important that you follow the instructions you'll be, give, you'll, you'll be given. And if you do follow the instructions, you're going to be fine. Now, the second thing here is uh, when I observe, what I have observed is that many uh, students might feel that the student pro the, the project also helps them in terms of becoming more creative. And that's also a good way to boost your linguistic skills. So these unit projects are going to be fun. You know, they're not going to be complex. They're going to be fun. But to achieve, you really have to do your part beforehand. So that means study, practice, get your work done on time, those types of things. And if you do, you're going to succeed. Let me just go back to the syllabus here. Weekly, yes, there we are. I think I just have to make an adjustment there. That's fine, we'll just do it for now. Here, by the end of each unit, you'll have to complete a
an interactive uh, assignment. My apologies, this is the interpreters uh, was making sure. Uh, so you'll be completing an interactive assignment and I'll, I'll show you a few what, what it's going to look like soon. Yeah. Okay. And we're just going to. And you're going to have two writing assignments ready by the ends of unit two and four. And that's basically, uh, you're going to put together an essay with citations. And that's going to be for your classmates uh, to learn from all of the work that you each are doing. Okay, you can see that the interpreters have switched now. And if you're thinking about becoming an interpreter, we'll get training in learning to become an interpreter. We'll have that practice on how to work with other interpreters in general and the processing time from English to ASL or from ASL to English. We usually continue about 20 minutes before there's a switch of interpreters because they need a mind break and the interpreters are there to support each other as well. So if you're thinking about becoming an interpreter, well, I can tell you more about an interpreter training program as well. Okay, next we're gonna go down to evaluations. And this is what it looks like here. Okay, please no cheating. Just understand the rules and responsibilities. And how you can avoid cheating is, well, do your studies, practice. It's simple. And if by chance you have a disability and you need disability support, you can contact the DRD for resources. And that allows the teachers to be sent a form so I can support you. If there's any medical situations or conditions, please let me know so I can accommodate you. There's different things here, mental health, stress manage management, wellness services, and it's important to keep a good balance. And diversity as well in the Title IX statements here is that we don't discriminate. We wanna make sure that we're encouraging inclusivity in our students in the learning process. So let's look at the schedule here. can see here, this is week eight. It's a light week. It's a check-in just to make sure you're doing okay. And I'll be available that week to chat with you. Usually it's Mondays only, but I'll be more available during that week. And understand that I don't have availability Tuesday, Thursdays in the morning until about three o'clock or so. I can't meet with you because I do have other responsibilities, obligations. All right. Now let's more move forward and take a look at the modules. And if you need help to review signs, I do have listed what's the sign here. What is the sign? And just a moment, please. I want to make an adjustment. Okay, I'm back. So 
So looking at Edge and Safari, both of those on the internet there, they're not really compatible. So I suggest you use Chrome and Google, Google Chrome and Firefox. Those two are what I would suggest, Google Chrome and Firefox. And let me show you now what the dictionary looks like. If for any reason you forget a sign, well, maybe it's mom, M-O-M, you could type it in here. And we have it here. If you want to review vocabulary from unit 1.0, oh, I don't know, 4, because maybe you'll need that review. For example, maybe you forgot how to sign book open. There's a sign, book open. Now let's review the syllabus. Review how to use the dictionary. We've reviewed the syllabus. We've reviewed the dictionaries. But most importantly, it's the modules. The modules. That's where your schedule will be. Everything will be listed there for you just to make sure you follow that. And if you follow, you should be successful. And the reason why I say that is it's... I tend to give you teaching several four-week lessons. It's a four-week course. So we're, the interpreter is getting a little more instruction. We use units one through five. And you should be successful. Because if you follow the schedule, you'll see every week there's announcements and you'll see what you need to do every week. Let me show you what week one looks like. But before we do that, I want to show you all of my lecture movies, videos. So if you go to the modules here, you see here where it says student enrollments. You'll finish that, and when you complete the enrollment, you'll have access to the rest of the course. You'll see my lecture videos in a PowerPoint as well. And that should open the PowerPoint for you to download. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. For some reason, it's not available. Ooh. Let's go ahead and look at unit 1.3 right here.
before we look at the lecture videos, I want to emphasize one thing. You know, 1.3, that video probably is the most important, the most important part of the semester because it has all the grammar listed, the grammar structure and so forth. So please study unit 1.3 well. And if you do that, then you'll have a clearer understanding on how to use the grammar structure and the word order and how to use expressive facial expressions. And you should do well for the rest of the se semester. But, pardon me, and if you decide to take ASL2 in the spring, you'll be ready as you progressively work your way through that. So I teach classes and I tend to teach classes with the assumption that you all want to become interpreters or you want to become teachers of the deaf or you want to work with deaf people. So those language skills are very important. So please, please pay attention to unit 1.3. And so right now, I'm going to go ahead and open the video for you to take a look at, okay? I'm sure you're thinking, who is that guy? Well, that's me. <laughs> I made that video last fall. So the reason why I have a beard and my hair is longer is, well, first of all, I was curious. And second of all, at first, when I made the ASL1 video, I thought I had to be clean shaven, but I've let my hair and beard grow. And I did that for fun. So as time has gone by, now ASL3 videos I'm making right now. Well, I've got the beard. And by the end of the level four video in the spring, maybe I'll be shaven. Maybe I'll be haircut, but, or maybe I'll keep it. So just to let you know, it's the same person. That's me. Well, anyway, you can see from the video on my lecture there, specifically in the PowerPoint, you should be able to see it there. Okay. Now let's go back to the modules again. <coughs> Just a moment. Okay, you can see what the modules look like here. The PowerPoints are there as well. It's taking time to load, but you get the idea. So you can see how it progresses. It's a snapshot of the videos. They're very brief. And we have three languages available. It's ASL, English, and Spanish. Let me show you here. Hmm. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess, but this should be ASL signing. Then you see the English paragraph here. 
And then you see a Spanish paragraph as well. For the videos not being available, that's not normal. So I'll go ahead and contact technical support and get that worked out. Okay, everything should be working out fine soon. We'll go ahead and switch other interpreter. Okay, just give me a sec here. So uh, I'm going to just show you something here. You see a worksheets tab. So that's uh, these worksheets are required to be completed. But when you see this one, this uh, tab, optional practice, now you see the word keyword is optional. And that is, you could work, say, with a partner, but it's optional. Uh, that's additional practice. And you'll see a video there of some signing, and then you can work with your partner and you know follow the responses as indicated, all right? For this week, you're going to have to find a partner. Okay. Uh, we're you're going to have to, as I mentioned, you're going to have to find a partner. And that's the assignment here to find Zoom, your Zoom partner's assignments. As you see here, there's two of them. So you'll be working with uh, the same partner until October 22nd. So how do you find a partner? So you see the people tab there. Once you click on that, you'll see a list. Just getting some audio feedback. My apologies. So when you click on the people tab, and you'll see a list, you can contact one of those individuals and that would be the person that you could work with until October 22nd. And then you're gonna find a different partner and work with that partner until November 26th. And then we're gonna have another partner until the end of the semester, that'll be December 13th. So that's how we're going to work with partners, three different partners throughout the semester. And I'll show you what that looks like. So for example, here, week two, uh, the structure that you'll see there will be very similar to the rest going down. Right, as what we just discussed. And by the end of unit, of the unit here, see that? By the end of the unit, we're gonna have more work. That's where the work really is. So it's really important for you to have good time management skills, bearing that in mind, all right? There's a uh, story comprehension, as you can see here listed. And also dialogue, interactive dialogue. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to begin, say, here with an introduction. 
show you some signing. And then I'll ask two questions. One or two questions. And then the next student who responds to me must answer my questions. Then ask a question for the next uh, classmate who's going to respond then to your question and so on. And this will be like a chain. And the idea for this is to make new friends and to become comfortable with different signing styles. And this is a way to, to increase or to improve your receptive skills uh, as you would converse with different individuals. So for example, I'll show you this. It says, hello, are you deaf in the video? So that's my question. And then so forth, as you can see here, this the dialogue continues. My apologies. My colleagues are passing by my office, so it's a little bit distracting for me. Uh, so now back to your Zoom partner, and this is important. You see here the dialogue scripts. Just follow the instructions there. And in this case, choose five. Uh, by the second, third, and fourth, and fifth assignments, you're going to have different requirements for those. So for now, as you can see here, you know, it looks like there's a lot there, but in reality, it's just a lot of repetition taking something from my PowerPoint and my lecture video. So that's where you're going to learn in those three weeks exactly the same thing. So by the end of units, you're gonna work with a Zoom partner to demonstrate your sign language uh, production skills, as well as being able to have a conversation. And that's it. Uh, there won't be any surprises for you, nothing out of the, out of the, out of the blue just as it is stated. And that format will just be repeated uh, in ASL 1 as well as in ASL 2. There we're going to have a lot of emphasis on repetition, both classes, in both courses. All right. We're going to move, down, uh, move on now. Uh, we discussed working with the Zoom partner, and I would recommend that you use um, two video screens on Zoom so that you can see each other uh, as you're going to see in the video. Something else I'd like to show you. Actually, two more things. This is a unit project here, as you can see. And the requirements for this project will be here. You see those? So those requirements are things that you're going to learn within the next three weeks from the lecture videos. And by then, you're going to be ready to complete these requirements for the unit. So I really encourage you all be creative. And when you, uh, you know, follow the requirements, you're going to do fine. Now, there's another thing here, uh, another assignment. It's a written. There it is. You're going to have two writing assignments.
So you're going to put together something and you're gonna to have to make sure that you use the, the MLA format for references, citations, and have at least three paragraphs based on the topic that you'll be doing. So this means to satisfy, this is just to satisfy the fourth uh, student learning outcome that we discussed earlier. So now for now, there's just gonna be two writing assignments. So I think that I have covered pretty well everything. And I really hope that we'll, I'm looking forward to meeting you all soon and seeing you soon. And I'm sure that we're gonna make sure that we won't have any tech issues like we've had experience today, by then. Well, thank you all for your time. And somehow look forward to meeting you through the web and, and, and online. So um, I do go to the Bay Area for, for, lect, uh, for lectures, so I'll be seeing you there. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Enjoy your semester, enjoy this, and we're looking forward to a, a good, strong start, all right? And please keep in touch, all right? I'm here for you. All right, take care.